Hey everyone, it's Ashley from AscensionNXT.com. Check out the website. Uh, we are doing the countdown to the Ascension Warriors intro class. It's going to be this upcoming Tuesday, August 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, live on Facebook. You get to keep this video forever. We're going to be going over a bunch of different archetypes that are coming into the planet. In this video today, I am going over light workers and shadow workers really quick. Um, very interesting concepts because a lot of people don't talk about the shadow worker. Uh, the shadow worker is somebody who dives deep within the fears of humanity, deep within the fears of the spiritual world. They talk about a lot of things that people don't want to talk about or think about. So the shadow worker is also a lot of times a loner. They're not really connected to a community. They more just like to study. They're more intellectual, but they understand the darker aspects of magic and the occult. Another aspect of the shadow worker is they love to expose truths. I definitely hold a large aspect of the shadow worker. I love to dig deep into the truths. I love to awaken humanity. I love to go down the rabbit holes and come out and tell people about the scary things that they don't want to hear about. So sometimes shadow workers can be called fear mongers because we are looking deep it we're going deep into the rabbit hole and talking about a lot of things that humans fear it's like humans worst nightmares but guess what this is part of the ascension process we need to learn about things that aren't talked about this is hidden knowledge this is um it's occult knowledge and that's what the word occult means is hidden knowledge but a lot of people look at it as dark energy but it's all aspects so we need to learn about the light and the dark and that's what the shadow workers do they go in they're in it like they're involved in that darker energy and that so not to bring it upon the world, but it's more to understand it. It's more to bring back that knowledge and information and show humanity. And a lot of people that are involved in the essential process don't want to hear about what the shadow workers have to say. Well, that's too bad because the shadow worker is a very intricate part of the essential process. They can be loners. They can be a little bit disconnected. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have the light workers. So we hear that term all the time. It's a very popular saying if you're connected in the spiritual community. And the light workers are literally doing what it says. They are bringing down the light from the divine. They're bringing down the downloads. They're bringing down the information and they're sharing it with the world. On the opposite end of the spectrum, the light workers have a lot to do with the communities, the spiritual communities being built on the planet right now. They also have a sense of urgency that work needs to get done. And the shadow workers do too, in a sense, but they like to work in their own time. Um, so there's a little difference there. I feel like light workers are more like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel like the shadow workers have a little bit more patience. I guess it depends on the person too as well. But light workers really have a sense of urgency and that is because they are connecting to that divine essence. They are connecting to Mother Earth. They are hearing the call that the vibrations need to be shifted. And those are just two archetypes that we are going over, but those to me are kind of like the opposites. But in actuality, I embody both. I definitely embody the shadow worker and the light worker. So as you can see, I'm an example of I definitely connect with both of those energies. And what they are is just energetic rays coming into the planet. And our souls can either connect with them during certain points in our life. So I definitely did most of my shadow work when I was younger. And now I'm really embodying a lot of the light. But I do understand the essence of the shadow worker. And at certain times in my time now, I can embody the shadow worker. I think that it's very important that we all do shadow work, especially if we're on our ascension process, but every human needs to do it and needs to understand it and not run away from it. 
So I'm going to talk a lot about that. I think I'm going to put in like who is like modern shadow worker. So one of them I feel is David Icke. If you haven't looked him up, he definitely dives deep into the shadow. He is like the conspiracy guru, so to say. Um, he connects a lot with the occult and what's going on on the darker side of that. And he's awakened a ton of people. So light workers and shadow workers definitely love to awaken people. The shadow workers, kind of do it a little bit more through the fears of humanity and I would say that most of the light workers do it through the light and more positive energy and um, downloads of energy and just bringing in that divine connection. So those are just two different ends of the spectrum. Next I'm going to focus on, so keep following the IG, um, indigo children and earth angels because those two to me seem like total opposites so definitely follow and like the page because those are going to be the next post so the next post it's late at night i'm tired we did table tipping tonight i talked to commander ashtar that's a whole nother video anyways um so august 20th 7 p.m click the link you definitely want to be there and you will get discounts for the monthly group that I am creating around this, which I will have more information on that as well. So thank you all for, ugh, God, it really is late, but I'm not going to edit this because this is real time, real shit. So thank you all for watching AscensionNXT.com. Click the link to AscensionNXT.com and right on the front page is the link to order your ticket for the Ascension Warriors. You definitely want to be there. So I'll see y'all soon. Bye.